Good afternoon. My name is Casey Hunter and, and I, I attend Harvest Worship and I just wanted to, to, to uh, come today and, and do a, a, a short uh, devotion with you, uh, share, share a few thoughts and, and possibly hopefully a, a, a few words of, of, of encouragement. Uh, with everything go, going on uh, around us right now, with, with the country beginning to, to open back up and, and with, with, with the um, um, COVID-19 virus, there's a lot of uncertainties and, and, and reasons for, for people to, uh, to uh, uh, be anxious. With that being said, I, I just wanna share a few thoughts with you uh, uh, this afternoon. And, and I want to talk just a few minutes about, about my favorite story in the Bible, the story of, of, of Paul and Silas. Uh, I'm gonna read just a couple of verses out out of um, Acts chapter 16. I'm gonna start with with verse 16, and it says, "One day, as we were going down to to the place of prayer, we we met a slave girl who had a spirit that that enabled her to tell the future. She earned a lot of money for her masters by telling fortunes. She followed Paul and, and Silas." And, and the rest of us shouting, these men are servants of the most high God and they have come to tell you how to be saved. This went on day after day until Paul got so exasperated that he turned and said to the demon within her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her and instantly it left her. So, just, just, just a brief uh, <clears throat> recap. So, so Paul and Silas were 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 in the in the city of Philippi, and and they were going around preaching the gospel, t telling what 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 Jesus had had done, and 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 this woman, they were following. She was following them everywhere they went. Everywhere they went to 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 preach the gospel, she was following them them around saying these men are of the most high God. She wasn't saying anything that that, that was untrue or or, or or that was even bad, but she became a nuisance. <clears throat> Think about it, everywhere they went, I can just picture Paul and Silas standing in, in, in front of groups of people talking about Jesus, Tell them about the, the life of Jesus and, and telling them how, how to be followers of Christ. And, and, and everywhere they went, this woman was in the background repeating over and over again, these men are of the most high God. These men are of the most high God. These men are of the most high God. Every time that they would go, 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 go to speak, they could hear her in the background repeating that over and over and over again. Finally, Paul had had enough. He, he was tired of hearing that over and over again. <clears throat> and he commanded this demon. He turned to this woman and said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And just like that, the spirit was gone. This is what I want to share with, with you today. I know with, with everything go, opening back up, that there will be more interaction with, with people and that, that can be a little scary. But I also know that there are some out there who are letting fear control their, their, their lives di during all this. <clears throat> Some are letting the spirit of, of fear control every move they make every day. Maybe it's time to say enough is enough. Maybe it's time to, to proclaim over your own life in the name of Jesus, spirit of fear be gone. We don't have to let the spirit of, of fear control our lives. All we have to do is boldly
proclaim in the name of Jesus Christ be gone. We don't have to let the fear of COVID-19 control our lives. We don't have, we, we do have to have a, a healthy respect for this virus, but there is a difference in, in having, having the, that, that respect and being cautious versus being controlled by fear. We can proclaim this over our lives today but by, but by doing so, you have to believe what you are saying. You, you can't ju ju just say the words and, and, and think, if it happens, it happens. As believers in Christ, we have the same authority as Paul did in, 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 in his day. You cannot be, be timid in claiming this over your life. Proclaim it boldly and with that authority. God, God's word tells us that we don't have to live this way. We don't have to let fear control our lives. I want to share a couple more verses with you. Second, second Timothy chapter one in verse seven. It says, for God has, has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-control. The spirit of fear is not of God. The spirit of fear is 100% of Satan. And we don't have, and Satan has no control over, over us unless we give it to him. I'm gonna share one, one more verse with you. And that, that, that's in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. It says, don't be afraid for I am with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold, hold you up with my victor victorious right hand. His word tells us right here that he is always with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. His word tells us these things. Guys, I hope that that, that, that that something I said today can be mean, can can help you out in in some way. I hope this is giving you some, some encouragement today. This may not per pertain to to everyone, but God gave me this for someone out there who is watching. And if one person's life is affected by this, then that's all all that matters. Uh, before I go, I just want to pray, pray with you guys. Father God, these times we, we, we are in right now can be a little scary, but with you, we can overcome anything, including fear. Father, I pray today that someone's life is affected by your word today. Father, give us guidance in, in everything we do. I pray for our government. I pray for our churches. Father, I pray that, that, that you give our pastors guidance and, and wisdom to, to do what, what's best and, and responsible. We love you, we praise you, and we worship you today, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys, and God bless.